Dear aspirants, now GS paper 3 done. As a faculty of science and technology in Western IS, what about the role of science and technology as you found uh, on the basis of uh, contribution in marks distributions? So out of 250 marks, 50 marks question QPSC asked from science and technology directly. As I found like uh, many times the nature of question were interdisciplinary. But this time those question UPSC asked in this uh, paper 3 from science and technology, it's a direct questions. Total 50 marks question out of 250 from science and technology. Two question I found from energy and it was a uh, expected questions. Even one question those I found it was connecting from fusion. And nuclear fusion is not the today's topic like uh, um, what is the fusion, how the, what about the India's contribution in the fusion research India is doing. And here UPSC connecting this question fusion with ITER. ITER is the, you know, at international level, it's an artificial sun experiment. Uh, those are in developing phase right now where the seven countries are doing the contributions. Even this question, those UPSC has from the nuclear fusion and ITER related. This question already UPSC has earlier in your uh, prelims examinations in 2017 around. And earlier, uh, further this question was in 2006, seven around 7, 8 in the prelims paper. This question of ITER was also UPSC mains question paper in 2008 examinations. So the first question those UPSC has in your paper from nuclear fusion, it was already asked earlier in the prelims and mains examination. So I think if you people uh, are solving your PYQs or prelims and mains, so this ITER based question you already got from there. Second question, uh, those I found from energy, it was uh, uh, in 2047 like uh, India will become as a energy independent. Okay, so how uh, again the question, the second question that I found in your paper, it is based on energy. Energy independence by 2047, how India is uh, working in the case of uh, clean technology. Okay, so clean technology by 2047 was another question those I found. And it is also a very common questions. I think if you people have a broad knowledge uh, about the subjects, so easily you can connect like uh, uh, in 2020-21 Glasgow convention what she uh, uh, Narendra Modi our honorable prime minister even spoken in the Glasgow convention like uh, in the coming future by 2030 500 gigawatt power generation India will try to achieve with the help of renewable energy sector. Okay even time to time uh, India brought the many uh, missions like a solar energy missions uh, like PM Suri Hari Yojana, uh, Solar Charkha missions, like uh, recently PM Kusum Yojana further it will be extended. So definitely these kind of information you should have to add on there and this is also like a simple questions. Okay, and if you have a thorough knowledge of a subject, so definitely you can generate your answer because all these cases are useful in the case of clean technology. Next question, those I found it was connecting with nanotechnology. Okay, like uh, uh, nanotechnology, uh, how it is useful in reference of India like uh, in the uh, achievement of agriculture sector. Okay, and uh, even agriculture sector, if you check your PYQs of mains examinations, so what is the role of uh, biotechnology in agriculture sector? What is the role of means? This kind of question like in agriculture sector, how it is helpful in the uh, science and technology, helpful in boost up the farmers conditions, you know, this kind of questions also earlier asked. So if you again solve the PYQs, so this kind of question you will get in your in your mains examinations. And another part here in this question of nanotechnology, those I found here, the question was a little bit interdisciplinary. Like uh, uh, nanotechnology, uh, you know, and farmers. So somehow you should have to connect with the agriculture also. Okay, so question was interesting. And you know, one of the um, USP of UPSC questions in science and technology, like socio-economic growth. Okay, uh, in... Uh, uh, for farmers, how it is beneficial. So same type of socio-economic growth, uh, even status of farmers, it's further repeated in your UPSC means uh, question paper. And one last question, those I found in your paper, uh, that's a fourth question. Uh, it is uh, like a semiconductor manufacturing hub of India. So of course, guys, like uh, in many and many sectors are growing in India, like in the past uh, few years. And one of the burning sector is a semiconductor. Okay, and India's research and development in semiconductor is very advanced. So here UPSC has like a 
India's semiconductor mission that India tried to achieve it. Even it is a report that published in the PIVs. Uh, even if you read the Vision IS magazine, so that uh, semiconductor based article many times is published. It was also a running topics and uh, evergreen topic, important topics, those UPSC has in your paper. So on this basis uh, of the question analysis, those I told you in total four questions UPSC has in your main paper. Uh, two question was 10 and 10 marks and two question were in 15 and 15 marks. Total 50 marks of questions, but question was average. Uh, it's not very difficult to solve, uh, even easily you can write your answers. So I hope so you people enjoy a lot. So in first shot, when I have seen your uh, mains uh, question paper, I was very happy. Like uh, students definitely solve these all the answers very easily. So God bless you all. I hope you enjoy a lot. Thank you so much. Take care and Jai.